Hi everyone! So I have an update on my project that I received from Color Relaxation. It is these gorgeous butterflies. So I finally finished them all. And this is what they look like right here. So this one I completed and put the chain on. So these are my pretty butterflies. So I did want to share a tip with you guys. I did buy this triple thick clear spray and I did not like it for my diamond dots. It doled them out. This is at no fault of the company. This is 100% my fault. I shouldn't have sprayed it with this. I thought it was going to seal them in and give it a high gloss and it did not. So... I don't recommend this stuff. I don't know if maybe I used it wrong or what, but I don't like how it looks. It came out and it frosted my stones. If you can see right here, this one's frosted instead of being like a crystal clear. So I do not recommend that stuff. And they can still kind of like squish around and move if you can see. So that stuff did not seal it. So if anybody knows how to seal these, please leave me a comment and let me know. I'm going to try resin. Um, I was watching a couple of tutorials and the only one that I found was people using resin. And that seemed to work really, really nice. Um, somebody else used the Mod Podge and she did not like it at all. She said not to use that. So I'm not even going to give that a try. So those are the only videos that I found on how to seal them. So I think the next step is I'm going to give resin a go because it seemed like it had that beautiful gloss and they didn't move around. So I'm going to give that a try. So I'll definitely be doing it on these and see if we could get some of that beautiful shine back to these. But here is what they look like. I love this yellow one. This yellow and green one is gorgeous. And I love that it has different shaped stones. So you see how this one of these circles... I love that it's different shaped. So here it is. And then here is what it comes with to go ahead and make it into a keychain. And then there's this green one. And the blue one. Then we have this multicolored one. This one's also gorgeous. I love this one. This side I didn't seal. So can you tell the shine on this side? So this was the last one that I had to do and I did not end up spraying it. And look at the shine on this one compared to this side. So that's what I mean that this crystal glaze stuff kind of doled out the shine on them. And you can really, really tell the difference with this side. So this is the one that I did not spray, that I did not do anything to. So I can't wait to see how it looks once it's all done with resin i'm sure it's going to be beautiful because they are gorgeous they have a gorgeous shine and then here is the red one they are super super pretty like i said i just need to figure out how to seal them so that way none of the stones fall off and then i'll show you how you put these together super simple right here up at the top there is a little hole so you're going to feed the ball chain through and then you're going to take your lobster class finding, slide it through the end right there. And there you go. That is all that it takes to go ahead and make these into beautiful key rings. Like I said, these are gorgeous. I just need to find a way to seal them so that way my rhinestones don't fall off. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'll link their website down below and I'll also link the direct link to these butterflies in case you're interested in buying them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.